I want to see the Alliance map. Pytham asked that I traveled to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. A Bretic and not sleep yet. The Cripple Gate of London might find an effect. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The Olaf. Hey, bear on, Master Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four year back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa. <laughs> Dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We're talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! in a great while. And hey, try not to kill anyone, eh? I'll wear your face as a skullcap stone. God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold. Be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I'll have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven Clan. If that's you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that writes easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name. Stow of Lunden. A burly name for a burly man. I like one who can hold himself in a brawl. To walk tall in Lunden, a man must know how to swing his fists. It's not empty praise I give. <laughs> well, your candor is appreciated. Take me to your governor, Stow. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. 
What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So this is London. A city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Nundinwich. I was Saxon Burra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, it turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we reeves walk the city like parents looking after our chil- Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the ear. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no! No, no, no! It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. Oh, Lord. To live with these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You no need for outsiders, though. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, though. It can't go on like... like this. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. She came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with the clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of free such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Oh dear. What is it? Doing notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriga's desk? Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And the... I didn't know. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Find anything? Besides enough blood to reach the city's faded bricks. No. sets of footprints leave. Two average, and one massive. I can't make head or foot of all this. I just... I just can't. Look at us, sitting on our lounge while Eivor does all the work.
I do not envy this man's death. Hang on, there's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal. No, it looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it, even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This kill was a message. Their footprints leave together. Three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by monikers. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Ah, oh, well, now the locals have caught up with this magic mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my Reeves face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will fall. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there is a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith.
The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting, the leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I've got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least soon and we'll feast. not to draw attention here. Knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum, notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they're called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests that he's an archer. I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I can't say why. we found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again, in several places, cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He's mentioned often, but there's little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let's not waste any more time. We will find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. Stowe, I'll catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.
Is this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. There must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Winner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Heard from Stowe yet? About the arrow? The leech is my focus just now. Does something worry you? Ah, no, just checking up on the old sparrow heart. You two are close, like brothers. Yeah, yeah. Close like brothers, you could say. Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna. Lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That's a good place to start. Thank you, Gida. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these dogs. Do I look like one who could? Best follow him, see where this leads. <laughs> Can't this clod walk any faster? Is this the place or... No, just meandering. Burn scars. Lost the hold. 
clan to the flame. Ah! <laughs> 
You got the Persia mode. Eh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Oya. Your money's with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back. So I sent her to good sister Friedeswith. Healer in town. Sister Friedeswith? Got broken bones? A boil on your bum? Or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would, and she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. Your worm food! This is where the leech dissects her prey. Hang on! soon in.
Must be watchful. this way. One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That's enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead. We collect, dear sister. You and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research. But not for lack of care. The ancient ones, the arbiters, they built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break, so difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger, faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? It is done. Ah! The leech is blared out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Friedesvith. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> Gods! That brick fits this week's wall of shit.
All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything. From boils to broken bones, it's worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book... This is your good sister's battlefield. Her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Friedesvith. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favored saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet? About the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin, and this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and... It was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then don't. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... But you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. Good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Or watching. You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. 
But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor. A Norse from the Norden Wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows north! Fire! for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. You'll be eager to... Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Husa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us, and he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends, brethren, good people of London, we have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. <laughs> Trigger, my friend, my leader. Like a dog, by outsiders, by the enemy, do we expect... The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north! Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south! Of all this, Trigger said, Pavgos, what we need now are strong boards! It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, 
You'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! Keep the boats in your position. unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it's cold comfort when glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down. Only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I don't want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broger. sister was murdered, and where were your guards? You hear me, okay? Her blood's on you! And you let him die! A hero for all London! They'll have London to the unwashed. Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let's hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It's time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart, squeezed raven ink from a loathsome leech. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well, this one's got the gift of all in's meat. What's on your mind, Stowe? We know the compass is a sailor, a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull. So to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. We can't know how or when. 
Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out. Yon still spun for us, my stone. We've many years yet. Come on! Inside. Let them burn! I had a view of the city from the roof. There is a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgos boot, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. Let's focus on the compass. Kill him, and the battle's won. I can lead you straight to him. Through the reeds, like Stowe's Moses. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little voice. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Follow me. I know the path straight to the docks. We'll be able to flank them.
This way! The dock! It's a burning! Take this path. You'll avoid most attention. I'll give you cover when I can. This is the compass, large enough to ford an ocean. Burning to ash what you cannot possess. That's a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That's enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that time.
There you are. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. I, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trickers before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I am touched, Erke. I'll carry it with pride. Best tell her the good news. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problem finding allies here. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. Is Gorham here in England? Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence Gorm. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I'll speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. <laughs> 